Hey guys, so today I'm going to print out another one of the dogs, except this time I'm going to print it way bigger than, than what I normally do. Now, what's happened is one of my family members is actually my uh, my uh, cousin, her and her husband and, and their, their children. They have this dog that recently got bit by a rattlesnake, and so they, they had to put the dog down. And uh, it was a, uh, a lab. I believe they said it was a chocolate lab. But... It looked a lot like the model I've been printing here recently. So I was asked if I could go ahead and print another one up for them. But what I didn't tell them is I'm planning on printing it like as big as I can. <laughs> so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to not only do that, but I'm also going to play around with Cura. Uh, download the newest one, which at the time of this is the 2.6.2. .2. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. I went through... And just put in my machine settings uh, for the GTEC Aluminum Prusa i3. Let's see if I can make it come up here. There, match printers. And machine settings. And right now I've got set at 210 on the width. Even though the bed itself is 200 millimeters, I set for 210. That way, hopefully offsets and everything like that it'll it'll work out if I move my print over to the right all the way and then I've got the depth and the height and all that set up and that's all pretty much standard stuff with it so I'm going to go back out of that okay so what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and bring in the model so I'm going to bring in the dog and it's going to drop it right in the middle so I'm going to select it I'm going to first rotate it because I like to always have it where everything's facing toward the camera when I print. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to scale them up. I want them as big as I can get them but where I can still move them around on the bill plate a little bit. Let's see. That might be a little too big. Right about there. That should be about right. So now let's go ahead and make it where I can move them. Now with this one, it turns gray after you let go. Where the old version, it, as soon as you brought it over, it would uh, turn gray if you were outside the build area. So that's kind of a different deal. That should be better. That gives me a little bit of a gap here on this side, so hopefully it won't run off the, the build plate. At least, not hopefully not by much. <laughs> okay. And so the settings I have set up right now are the, the layer height is going to be a 0.2 millimeter. Initial layer height is going to be 0.3. Have the shell thickness as being 1.2 millimeters, top bottom walls. And just have his lines for the top and bottom layers. Fill density, I'm going to go with 15%. And I'm going to try this new zigzag pattern. They got all the different patterns that you can do. But the zigzag one says it's supposed to give you... Uh, supposed to take less material to print so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot I've never tried it before um, I'm not going to worry about that stuff printing temperature I'm going to go with the AMZ 3D PLA it's the copper filament and I believe that one prints at 215 on this machine so I'll do it for 215 the bill plate I'm going to go with 65C on it and of course 1.75 millimeter filament that I use I'm going to go with 100% flow rate and then the retraction I have for 5 millimeters and distance, 40 millimeters per second for the speed. And then minimum travel has to be 2 millimeters of extrusion for us to, to retract. That way it kind of reduces some of the retraction. Minimum extrusion distance window, 5 millimeters. Yeah, that'll work. Print speed I have is 50 millimeters per second. Outer wall speed, 30. Travel speed at 70, initial layer speed at 20. That way it'll give it a slower first layer and it should stick a lot better. Combing, I have it set at all. Avoid printed parts when traveling. Z-hop at 0.1 millimeter. And enable part to print cooling. I have it set for 10 seconds, so it'll, it'll wait 10 seconds between layers. So it should give a nice cooling on it. Uh, no supports. I'm not going to worry about that with this model. And a skirt around it at uh, 3 millimeters and the three lines around it. That way it'll prime the extruder really good before it starts printing. And according to this, 
It's going to take one day and 34 minutes, so it should take a little over 24 hours to do it. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. Sometimes it takes a little bit more, but we'll see. Okay, guys, so I will save that to the disk, and I will uh, see you at the end of the time lapse. Twenty-five hours and thirty-eight minutes later, and here we go. <laughs> this came out big. Oh, he popped right loose. Good. Now he lifted up on the edge, especially over here on this side. It was over the side of the glass. Somehow I I did not have it uh, correct on the. I think what it is, I, I have to go back into Cura, probably do it, set it for a larger bed size, and then make sure I move the model all the way over, because I can't set the, I can't set uh, the offset like you can in Repetier, which that's, that's all right. But even at that, it still sets fairly, it sets completely level down, but it did lift on this side, and I had a little bit of lifting on this other side, but that's all right. Looks like right under this ear, got a couple strands hanging down, which I'll, I'll take a knife to that. But other than that, it turned out amazing. And with this scale, you can see the hair that was modeled into it. That is cool. And of course, little pads on the feet, little toenails. <laughs> it turned out great. Anyway, I bet the children are going to love that because, like I said, they lost their dog recently. So this this is going to help them feel a little bit better, I think. So I, they're just not expecting it to be that big. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's a puppy. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Hey, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.